Hi, my name is Darren Lees and I'm a Salesforce consultant at Cyber in the UK and today I'm going to be talking about the Salesforce feature Canvas. Salesforce Canvas is now an officially supported feature for the Force.com platform with the Summer 13 release. It is a lightweight method for integration of web applications into the Salesforce UI using a set of tools and JavaScript APIs. These tools allow you to take an existing web application written in any language and expose it as a Canvas app, giving your Salesforce users access to it from within inside Salesforce. The SDK facilitates event-based integration through subscription and publish functions, allowing apps to talk to each other from inside the Canvas page. The Canvas page invokes the embedded applications, sending authentication credentials, which can currently be implemented by using sign request or OAuth 2.0. Salesforce passes context about the Salesforce environment that the Canvas app is running in, such as the Salesforce instance and the current user information. The logged in user details are particularly useful as these can be used to further authenticate and set up the session on the external web application. For example, consider an internal expenses system. The Canvas app will send the Salesforce user information, such as the email address. This can then be used to find the user on the expenses system. So let's take a look at the current method for the scenario that we'll be demoing today. Let's say we have an email campaign that's been sent out to all of our customers. And one customer decides to place an order by calling into the sales department. Currently, the sales agent would have to log into Salesforce to create the opportunity, log into the stock control system to check the stock levels, and to log into the separate payment portal in order to take the payment from the customer whilst they're on the phone. It's currently company policy that when a payment has been taken, a copy of the invoice is downloaded and inserted in Salesforce under the opportunity. The sales agent are also responsible for allocating or ordering stock for the order that's been placed. After this has all been done, the sales agent will currently then have to update the opportunity in Salesforce. So let's now take a look at the Salesforce Canvas method for this scenario we still have the same campaign going out to a customer and a customer calling into the sales department but this time the sales agent would only have to log in Salesforce to create the opportunity. We still have the external stock control system and payment portal but we have now exposed these using Canvas apps inside Salesforce. By placing the apps on a Visual Force page we can provide the sales agent with the ability to check stock levels and process the payment all from within inside Salesforce. We can also get the payment portal to update Salesforce directly after the payment has been processed, including inserting the invoice PDF. We can also get the stock control system to listen out for when the payment has been made on the payment portal to allocate stock accordingly. We can also then get the stock control system to then update Salesforce. We will now take a look at this in practice. We have the email sent to the customer which has the phone number at the bottom that the customer would ring to get through to the sales department. The sales agent would have to log into Salesforce in order to create the opportunity. Without Canvas, the sales agent would have to log into the payment portal in addition to Salesforce. They would also have to log into the stock control system. We now switch to the opportunity that's been created by the sales agent. As you can see, we have the usual amount field filled in. We also have a custom field called paid, which tells us when an opportunity has been paid in the payment portal. We've also added the products to the opportunity. We've added 20 high-end laptops and 50 mid-range mobiles. We've also got a field on the line item called order status, and this currently tells us that both products are awaiting payment before they can be dispatched. We've embedded the Canvas apps inside a Visual Force page and then we can display that Visual Force page on the Opportunity Details under the External Applications section. As you can see this Visual Force page has both the payment portal and the stock control system Canvas apps inside it. 
the logged in user has already been authenticated in both of these portals, as you can see. Both of these apps have also pulled through information. On the payment portal, we've got the products, the quantities and the price all pulled through, as well as the billing address from the account. The stock control system has pulled through the products from the opportunity and displays the stock from the stock control system. So we have 25 high-end laptops in stock, but we have no mobiles. So we'll now look at filling out the payment portal and submitting the payment. As the sales agent, we filled out the details in the payment portal canvas app, ready for processing the payment. Successfully submitting the payment details to the payment portal, we get a message back from the stock control system informing us that stock allocation has been applied. We can see that the payment portal has had the payment processed, and we can also see that the stock control system has had the relevant stock applied to it. So the high-end laptops now only have five in stock, and we've assigned 20 to be packaged ready for delivery. We've also got the mobile phones. We still have zero in stock, but now we've got 50 on order. We can now check the data that's been inserted in Salesforce by refreshing the opportunity. We can now see that the paid custom field has been ticked to inform us that the opportunity has been paid for. And if we scroll down to the product line items, we can see that these two have been updated. So the high end laptops have been assigned and the mid range mobiles are on order. We can also see that the PDF invoice has been inserted in Salesforce and attached to the opportunity. If we click to view it, we'll be able to see the invoice that was generated by the payment portal. I hope that this has helped you to learn more about Salesforce Canvas and the potential capabilities it may have. With the ability to embed any web application, both internally developed and enterprise applications, Salesforce Canvas offers up great possibilities.